Hi folks, this is Dr. Rob Sivers and today I'm really going to throw a wrench in your thinking and your works because I'm going to talk about the following statement. Today's video is about what is a calorie. And I'm going to make this statement and I'll stick by the statement through thick and thin, come at me. The statement goes this way. If anybody ever tells you to count your calories, they don't know about human nutrition, run as far away as you possibly can. If you have a calorie counter of any sort, it is an absolute reason that you will fail long term. Because remember, you want to do this until after the day you die, which is a very long time. And the human body does not understand what the hell a calorie is. So anybody counting their calories is working under a false premise that it has any long-term value. Any form of caloric reduction, by whatever means, is going to result in weight loss. Absolutely. I give you that. But calories did not cause your obesity. Calories did not cause your disease. That's the paradox. Any form of caloric reduction, you lose a bit of weight and your health parameters get better because of that. For a while. And that while may be a year or two. But you are doomed to failure if you count and consider and live your life by the calorie because your body doesn't work that way. Those are mathematical formulas that do not apply to human biology. What do I mean by that? And here's the fundamental thing that calorie counters do not understand. Calories, nutrition, is purpose-driven. There's always, always, always a purpose behind what the body desires to eat and needs to eat. If you're a growing child, you need nutrition beyond your daily supply to grow. But that nutrition is not necessarily for fuel or energy. That fuel and energy is about the same. But a lot of it has to be diverted to growing new cells, to supporting cells, to cellular growth function of the human body. So a large part of that so-called caloric load goes toward nutrition. You have no idea how much. The energy requirement is pretty damn constant. If you've had trauma, if you've had an injury, if you've got inflammation, if you've got infection, that requires a higher level of energy, but it also requires a higher level of nutrient supply to rebuild and, and heal those tissues. If you're an athlete, if you're a distance athlete, if you're a strength athlete, you need a certain amount of energy. Who the hell knows how much? Who knows how much tissue wear and tear are you putting into your body? When you're growing those muscles, when you're using those muscles, who knows what's happening to that? That is purpose-driven. The purpose there of eating is to support yourself in the gym, to support yourself on the basketball court, to support yourself through the ultramarathon that you're running. If it's winter, if it's summer, there's a purpose to your eating and nobody on any caloric counting diet can tell you how much that is. The constant in the modern era is that we're way overeating. We're eating way too much, even by some calorie counting ridiculous algorithm. But nutrition is always purpose driven. And the reason we become fat, the reason we become metabolically disrupted and metabolically ill, the purpose is exclusively from the high, from the endorphin activity we get from a drug called carbohydrates and a pattern of snacking. But you don't consider the number of calories in a tub of ice cream when you're getting high. How many grams of heroin do I need to get this amount of high? How many beers do I drink to get this buzz? Nobody thinks that way. And yet all dietitians think in terms of calories. Ludicrous. Yes, initially you do well, but counting calories is a trap, 
an absolute guarantee of long-term failure. And remember, 98% of diets fail. And it doesn't matter what the darn diet is. Because the objective of the diet is to lose weight. The objective of the diet is to get healthy. Once you are, what the hell do you do then? How many calories should a healthy person eat? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Because every day the body is different. And the body doesn't know whether that, uh, that what you're eating goes toward energy, toward uh, uh, production, or toward body repair, tissue maintenance, tissue building. And the body is undergoing change all the time. That flux, that building, that autophagy. It's happening all the time. You don't know. You don't know. But you know what? Your body does know. Your body does know. So if you eat food once or twice a day and you don't eat carbohydrates, you're going to get healthy. How much is irrelevant? How much is irrelevant? Count your calories. Starve yourself. You'll lose weight. Who cares? Who cares if you can't keep it off? Oh, I kept it off for two years. How old are you? What's two years in the context of your entire age? Get out of the trap of calories. No alcoholic counts the percentage of alcohol in their drinks. No smoker knows what the nicotine percentage is in their cigarettes. And no heroin addict knows of the opioid concentration in their heroin. The human body doesn't work that way, but the human body knows exactly what it wants and what it needs. When you feed it food. When you feed it crystal meth, it's always going to want more. That's the nature of addiction. How much water should you drink? Oh, you got to drink 64 gallons of water a day. You got to drink half your body weight in water every... Bullshit, you don't. Anybody who ever tells you how much water you should drink knows nothing about human biology and certainly knows nothing about salt metabolism. Because whether you're eating glucose, whether you're eating salt, all of those things matter in hydration. But your body knows exactly how much water it needs. And human beings are the only species that drink anything other than water, apart from growing animals on drinking milk. No other species drinks anything other than water. Think about that. So, if you are trapped in calories, you might be doing great. You might be obsessed about controlling what you're eating with calories. But how, how long can that possibly last? It can't, it doesn't, and it won't. I know it's very, very challenging because you're doing great for the first time, you're on a ketogenic diet, you're doing great, you count your calories, and the dietitian said you must do these. I know it's difficult. I know it's very challenging to change lanes. But liberate yourself from the dead end of counting calories. Look at your food. What's that food and why am I eating it? You don't need to count it. You don't need to count it. Eat. Your body knows what to do with it. Please, 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 please argue with me. Leave comments. But don't say, oh, I'm doing really well because I count calories. If I don't count calories, I blah, 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 blah. That's the addiction coming back. That's the addiction coming back. If you eat real food, nothing bad is going to happen long term. You may gain a few pounds here, you may lose a few pounds there. Nutrition is purpose-driven, and the human body knows how to control it when you give it enough. But understand why you're doing things, and it's the pattern that's important. So, if you agree, if you disagree, if you want to know more, leave comments, subscribe to this channel, unsubscribe if you think I'm a total crackpot. But then resubscribe when you crash and burn. You will. I pick people up every day. I pick more people up every day in my practice than ever I help people with caloric diets. Because remember, everybody that walks through that door right there is already an expert at failing weight loss programs. 
and all weight loss programs are based on calories. So to do the same thing over again, you know that quote, don't you? Leave comments. Subscribe to my channel. If you like what we do, if you want to know more, if you want to understand how to do this differently, text me 561-517-0642, not to get information from me by text, but to set up a visit so we can look at you and understand where you are. Let's talk biology, not mathematics. I am the Carb Addiction Doc. I hope that made you think whether you agree or disagree with me. But remember this video because you will be a victim of it if you blow me off too suddenly. I don't mind if you still count your calories. But when that fails, think of this video because you will. Till next time.